Breaking news, guys. Kuka meet Tenubu says Nigerian sign pains. Bishop Kuka, a prominent Catholic priest, has said that Nigerians are suffering various degree of pain due to some policies of the federal government of Nigeria. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Prominent Catholic priest, Bishop Marty Kuka, has said that Nigerians are suffering various degrees of pain due to some policies of the federal government. Kuka stated this on Wednesday, May 15, after a private meeting with President Bola Tenubu at the State House in Abuja. Addressing journalists after the meeting, Kuka noted that most of the sufferings and hardships experienced by Nigerians during the Tinubu administration were unintended. So many people will tell you that one year is not enough to make a judgment. However, from where we all stand, we know that we are all in a very difficult situation, Kuka said. Nigerians are in various levels of pain. Pains that are unintended. There are also certain policy decisions that hopefully can be amended in order to save the welfare of the ordinary Nigeria. I believe that the essence of government is to guarantee the welfare of ordinary citizens. I believe that the times that we are in now are difficult times and nobody should be under any illusions. But this is also time for re renewal. We just need to commit ourselves to using a good a society. Using a good society, it takes a lot of time and cannot be done in one lifetime. For me, the most important thing is to continue on the building blocks of things that are being done well. My argument has always been that the government needs to very quickly improve quality of communication so that Nigerians can get a sense of how long it will take before food is ready, he added. <laughs> God should have mercy on us. The government is very far from Nigerians. That is just the truth. I don't think they really know that Nigerians are going through it. With all these year anti anti people's policy, just like what Kuka said, if you implement a policy and you see that it's not favoring anybody, why can't you make a change? Eh? Not only God a great person, when we say you know they turn again, you don't create you like that. Now see, create you. This is man made problems. You are doing something so that Nigerians will benefit. And uh, at the same time, you are saying that that very thing is not working. Why can't you make a change? Why can't you look back and do something to save the country and Nigerians? This is no longer funny. That is why I said the government are not close with the, with the, with the people. They just have to come to the reality that Nigerians are going through it. There are some states they are selling fuel now for 1,005, 1,000 uh, like that. Two weeks ago, we heard that in some part of the northern part of the country, fuel was scarce and fuel was being sold for 2,000 naira. Imagine. Imagine. So tell me how we are going to be free from this. So it's a very, very big problem. Uh -huh. If you if you take a decision, you can't check and say that decision when you take, you're not good. It's affecting people. You are not good. You can as well make an adjustment. Now, dollar don't they climb again. No. Only God knows what to then do that time. I think this time around. It should now be very clear to everybody.
Uh -huh. This is not the matter of where I'm coming from. Because if the president is my brother and I am not benefiting anything based on, I'm not saying government money, at least make a fee buy things cheap. I, I, I still fit send my children to school, pay house rent and everything. It's where I go say you do okay. You did do fine. So what is really tearing us apart is this politics of ethnic card when we they play for Nigeria. We go consider the where the person from come. That one I one. Oh now my person make I support her. It no matter whether the person, you know, know what thing he go do or not. Now the same faith. Now my religious brother, I go support him. That is just the basis of supporting leaders in Nigeria. So we don't look whether the person is competent, integrity, all these kind of things. They count. The question now is, have we actually learned? Nigerians, they don't learn. Say, make we see and say the matter now, tomorrow, maybe uh, we can't say we still get another opportunity. Have we actually learned? Some people go tell you, say, you wait till they talk. You just hate this man. This is not the, the issue of hating. We have to come together. You understand? Unless this one Nigeria we are talking about, we are not serious about it. Anything that concerns Nigeria concerns every one of us. So we have to be very, 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 very careful when we make decisions that will affect us and will also affect the country as well. Well, I don't drop out for you, my people. Let's hit another news. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by.